Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Today's going to be a short one because I kind of messed a couple things up with my recording. <laughs> with my earlier recording. Um, some of this... Okay, the gist of it is I installed these shout mods um, not on a recording, on purpose. It, they, they were very easy to do. Uh, this shout perk tree only required this custom skills framework mod. Um, and I already went into a new game and progressed through the storyline until I got to High Rothgar and unlocked the perk tree and made sure it was working and everything. And yeah, they essentially, you know, this makes the kind of rebalances the shouts in a way that is good. This adds a shout perk tree and this allows you to learn words from actually killing dragons, which is cool. Um, and then on a recording, I installed Lawbringer. And, uh, well, some, uh, sorry, Lawbringer Guardsman and a requirement for it. And Lawbringer Guardsman just adds a bunch of more locations to, uh, where you can permanently claim places for different factions. Um, cause yeah, on my, this Proteus playthrough, I want to like clear the map essentially. So all these places that can be like permanently saved, you know, that'll be a good thing. Um, yeah, but I didn't have my mic on. <laughs> and that's what you get for not doing a sound check or, or just basic you know checking a couple things so and then i ended up actually because then i slept and the next day and now we're back here and i forgot to turn on my mic again can you believe it i can um so just now essentially i decided i was going to install these uh cathedral uh concept mods cathedral landscapes and cathedral weathers and seasons um and right before I realized that I was not recording audio, uh, I wondered how much of this was going to conflict with uh, Skyrim 2020X by Fisher, I think it's called. Um, but it's not like it's a big deal anyways. Brown Tundra, Green Tundra. Oh, man. That's the thing. We're north. I guess I like Brown Tundra. I haven't blended this yet. No suggestion. Bridges. Yeah, I think I want landscape to win generally. Oh, and maybe it's just because it's it's a preference. There's no suggestion because it's just whichever one you, you want to win. Yeah, we're going to see what the cathedral one looks like since we installed it and everything. All right, that's all the file conflicts. Uh, before we open that up, I guess the only other thing to <laughs> extend the length of this video a little bit longer is I finally found uh, a mod called Enemy Releveler. This is kind of, or this is, the main thing I was after as far as looking to de-level the game. And on my part, I guess that was just an improper use of terminology. But um, essentially what this does is it changes the level scaling to be more based on uh, having the factions provide a level progression throughout the game. Instead of, you know, obviously the base game is kind of like you can be fighting Draugr low level or high level. It's going to be a similar uh, challenge overall. Um, so this essentially makes it so that it breaks the game up into very low, low, moderate, high, and very high uh, difficulty enemies. And then it changes the... Uh, so on the left side here is the vanilla level ranges, and on the right side is what it changes them to. And the idea is to give you a enemy progression that is based in the enemies and not just arbitrary levels. So like soldiers are more powerful than bandits, which is something you can change if you like worlds with, you know, uh, bandits, especially since bandits can be, you know, veterans or, you know, like uh, former soldiers. Uh, pirates are, <laughs> you know, essentially former soldier bandit kind of things. So there's room. And I was actually looking, I might bring up this level range for bandits just a little bit to make it more in line with the level ranges for these, uh, uh, for the soldiers, but I think overall I would still have them just a little bit lower. Yeah, because in my my Proteus centered game, I'm going to have a lot of characters, and they're going to start out uh, a lot of them being much more mundane and lower level, and doing things like uh, getting rid of animals that are aggressive, and uh, getting rid of bandits, obviously criminals, that kind of thing, hunting down thieves. So yeah, this was the main thing. I'm not sure if I even need true unleveled Skyrim anymore. Um, the nice thing about it is it is another uh with the synthesis patcher thing it's very compatible and stuff so if it has a feature that i decide i want that this doesn't have i can add it but this is the main thing i wanted so uh in an upcoming video i'm going to be going ahead and getting proteus out of the way uh partially because it has a bunch of uh requirements that i need to add to the game anyways like race menu 
a lot of this I have now already, though, now that I look at it. Um, and Proteus, essentially, a lot of it is just uh, it makes menus for command console stuff so that you can do it faster and like keep track of changes uh, easier. So it, essentially for like nailing down for uh, but so especially for fine tuning the like balance of the game or, you know, balance between, you know, all the different weapons and armors and all that kind of stuff. This could be a really valuable tool for honing that in. All right, now let's install Cathedral Landscapes and Cathedral Weather and Seasons, and then we will uh, load up the game and see what it looks like now. Oh, yeah, we'll start out in Riverwood and run up to White Run and see how it looks. Of course, it's raining. <laughs> Man, the weather. I haven't seen rain that looked like this before. This looks pretty nice. See, if I had Proteus installed, that would make uh, changing the weather the easiest. But also, does Odin? I forget what the Odin's weather spell yeah, that's a master spell, so that's kind of a pain. Can I, is there a mod menu for that, by chance? No. no. It is quite the storm. I do like the look of it already. But, alright, let me look up codes real quick. Set weather. That was SW, and then whatever the weather ID is. 10, Echo 1, Foxtrot 2. 10, Echo 1, Foxtrot 2. Look, we have a grass mod, and we're running at 60 FPS. And this is perfect, because, uh... I mean, you know, everyone can have what they want, but I, I live in a place that has a lot of scrubland and stuff, and I actually think that those places can look pretty, and I definitely like the way this looks. Uh, can't tell. Is this bugged? This seems bugged, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's some kind of color. Not not working right. Uh, looks like it's just over there, for whatever reason. But otherwise, it looks really good. Are there any more gray areas like that that I can see offhand? Ugh, dino load. Uh, see, it's definitely increased the range but we definitely need dyna load but this is definitely one of the things i was missing to make it look better you can see all the way out to the giant camp now yeah dyna load's definitely on the list of things but yeah it looks great i'll definitely have to take a look at that with doing that gray grass over there but that is a secondary concern for me right now yeah let's just uh take the coach to windtown see what it looks like up there yeah let's go straight for winter hold actually i haven't seen what old winter hold looks like in a while so I've used uh, Cities of the North Winter Hold quite a bit. I really like that one. Yeah, and Cities of the North, there's a whole giant uh, castle up on that hill there. It's pretty neat. Yeah, there's way more vegetation here. It looks less sucky. But now we need uh, snow. Let's uh, look up a uh, storm. Is there is snow a thing? I guess that's what I should look for specifically. Light snow, heavy blizzard, Charlie 8221. Alright, I've put in the code. We're waiting for clouds to roll in. Anytime. Hey oh. Man, it takes its time, but it's coming slowly. Cool, I like how slow that was actually. That's pretty neat. I like I like it a lot. It's just slowly transitioning from clear to blizzard. What time is it? Two in the afternoon. And it seems so dark now. Yeah, I can see everything so much clearer with all that like vanilla fog gone. It's great. That is like the main thing I was looking to get rid of. Let's uh I guess I want to see what solitude looks like too. Oh, I didn't check off the stables. To solitude! Probably be dark by the time we get there. Yep. Dark, dark, dark. Ooh, I like that sky. Have I seen that sky before? Or is that part of the one of the cathedral things? So that's pretty cool. Partly, or mostly cloudy day. You just see so much further. Yeah, I can definitely tell how you would want Dynalone with stuff like this. Uh, well, I don't see any gray grass here. I think that's enough uh, looking around. I like the look of it. We've got performance friendly grass. I'm running at 60 FPS in my 3060. Things are looking good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.